So I'm gonna put my styler, my hair dryer, and I'm gonna have the finale product. <laughs> what was that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. Today guys, I'm going to be telling you one of the biggest mistakes I ever made whilst protective styling. And it was actually fairly recent. If you are a follower of mine, subscriber of mine, viewer of mine, seen me before, had my face grace your screen. You may have seen my videos that I was showing how my hair turned out after protective styling. And I literally thought protective styling damaged my hair. It wasn't the protective styling that damaged my hair, it was me. So before I go on and tell you what the biggest mistake is, guys, you're gonna have to watch to the end of this video. So whilst you're watching, guys, you might wanna pause the video, put down in the comments what you think I might have done if you do record. But I think this time around this year, I've got the protective styling down to a nap. At the moment, if you may be able to see, I've got some product residue mixed in with my makeup, hair gel and makeup <laughs> on my edges. My hair feels pretty dry and this is a hint going on to something that I didn't do last year with my protective styles. Yeah, let's carry on watching. So guys, now I'm just going to shampoo my hair. I've washed my hair thoroughly with the shower head. So I'm just going through, just gently massaging with my fingertips just to make sure I'm lifting any built up residue on my hair. And like I would do, if I was to wash my hair without a protective style, I'm really actually just putting it on my scalp. Okay, so usually if my hair's out of protective style and just in its natural state, I tend to shampoo once because that's usually sufficient enough, but because my hair is in a style where there's less flexibility and it's a bit more restricted, I'm going to shampoo my hair twice because I'm gonna be adding product to my hair after I've washed this out anyway, i.e. styling product. So I want to make sure that my scalp is as clean as possible. I'm gonna come back to you with the styling process, okay? All right, guys, so I will see you in a sec. Okay guys, so now I've started applying my Garnier Banana Conditioner for dry hair. And again, I'm just putting it on my roots and I'm smoothing it halfway down to where my hair is. Obviously when you shampoo, it's the best thing to condition your hair afterwards and put some of that moisture back in. Right, so I'm gonna let that sit for about two minutes as you would with normal conditioner. Then I'm going to rinse it out. So now I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, come back to you when it's rinsed out and then I'm gonna show you the styling process. So guys, already you can see my hair looking a bit more replenished, a bit more shiny, a bit more, feels a lot smoother, less itchy, way less itchy, and that was the goal. So there's two ways you can do this next step. You can either put a styling products in your hair and let your hair air dry with a head scarf, but you will have wet ends, so bear that in mind, guys. Or you can use a hair dryer, as I'm going to do now, at the end, okay? So for my styler, I'm using the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil. And the reason I'm putting this in my hand now is because I'm just gonna run it down to the lengths of my hair where my real hair is. So I'm gonna do it in three sections. So I'm gonna do it in two sides, and I'm gonna do the back, and I'm gonna do the other side. Already I can feel my hair, it feels almost tingly now it's clean. You can choose to use like a leave-in cream for this part, guys, but I want something light that's gonna lay my frizz down and keep my hair looking decent for another two weeks or so. So now guys, I'm gonna go and turn on the hairdryer and I will show you the next product shortly. I do wanna say guys, just so you don't get random frizz just blowing up like you can see here, if you have got a concentration nozzle, so you can concentrate the airflow on one area, then that might be better for you to do so. But as you can see, it doesn't look as bad as it did in the beginning. <laughs> Thank you. 
The key for me personally is not to let my hair completely dry. And the reason being is because I don't want to fuse my actual natural hair with the synthetic hair I have in my head and I don't want my hair to be dry. I want it to retain some moisture, okay? Right, so before I tackle these wispy bits up here, what I'm going to do is give you the Finale product, as I said, and obviously, guys, you know it's my Kokata Hair Dax Grease. Hair Dax? Dax Hair Grease. <laughs> I have to think about that for a while. So this is a brand new tub, guys. So guys, what you're gonna wanna do, if you are into using hair grease, you're just gonna wanna part your parts. So I'm just gonna go and, did I say part your parts? I meant grease your parts, you know what I mean. Grease your parts all the way down. Okay, lock some of that moisture in. Now I'm not gonna put this on my frizzy parts because it doesn't tame frizz. It actually makes my hair even more frizzy. So I'm gonna continue this off camera, guys. I'm gonna come back to you in a sec and I'm going to tell you, if you haven't guessed already, guys, I gave you a hint in the beginning. If you wanna see what my biggest mistake was that I made whilst protective styling last year, stay tuned and carry on watching. I will see you in a sec. Okay guys, so there you have it. My hair is uh, neat and dark, fresh, smelling good. My hair and scalp feel amazing now. Okay, let me just quickly show you the back. Feels good and moisturized and conditioned. Okay, so guys, I know you've been waiting for it and I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake I made whilst protective styling my hair last year. And that mistake was avoiding everything I have done in this video today. I didn't wash my hair when I was doing my protective style. I didn't spritz my hair with water. However, I did put hair grease on my dry hair. My hair was horribly damaged. So the new hair that was growing through, it was frizzy, it didn't define, it was dry, it was breaking off. It was bad. If you're gonna have your hair in a protective style, it is imperative that you add water to your hair even if you don't get a chance to wash your hair in that protective style guys please spritz your hair put some water on it put some conditioner on it put some oils grease butters whatever to seal in that moisture but you can't put a protective style in and just leave it think about it if we've got curly hair anyway the sebum from our scalp can't reach down to our strands because of our curls quills kinks what have you if we've got our hair in a protective style now it's almost impossible for that oil to seep down your hair anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video leave your comments down below if you was correct in what my biggest mistake was if there's any more tips and hints you can give me to washing your hair or maintaining it in a protective style then leave that down below in the comment section and thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye even though i blow dried my hair straightened my hair hot combed my edges and my roots. I'm pretty sure that my curls are gonna come back. Now I know some of you guys around the world are used to this type of heat, but I for one am not. However, amid all this heat, we have got some uh, anti-humidity hair going on here. So I'm going to show you right now